Good high kick by Colt. Nice high kick by Will Shutt. Both fighters coming out real aggressive right off the bat. Just like we talked about earlier, man. They're looking to end this thing early, go back, take a rest, and get ready for the next fight. That's how Will Shutt looks very focused coming into the ring. Some knees to the thigh from Shutt to Colt. Well, Will mentioned in the weigh-ins that he has switched things up where we didn't expect to see the old Will Shutt at all. And he endorsed that idea. Yeah, he said that he's gone back to the gym and, and you know reinvented himself. I, I didn't think there was anything wrong with the with the last uh, last fighter, but you know nonetheless uh, reinvented himself and uh, taken down by Coke. Coke on top, looking to get a mount position. Uh, when I transition into the to the back, looks like he's got kind of sticking that rear naked choke. Yeah, and he's got a body lock. We call that the anaconda. And uh, you know he's got that locked in, shutting, going nowhere. And uh, Coke going for the. Uh, the rear naked choke. But it looks like his bottom on his on his chin, not on his neck. So that's right. going to give Shutt some hope right there. And of course, he's pulled out of the motion. Yeah, for sure. Will doing a good job of defending that choke, keeping his chin tucked, just to uh, not let him cinch that up. Keeping the chin, the chin tucked in, John. Also, he's, he's turning his head into it to, to, to help defend. And what he's going to try to do here, if he can, is to try to turn into it and turn himself into his fighter. Assume the top position, if you will. That's that's what you want to do, Harvey. If you take a look at the leg position, he's got a figure forward, as we call it, the anaconda. And it's very, very difficult for, uh, for Will to get any kind of position so that he can rotate his body and move. Especially right now in the beginning of the fight, neither fighter has really worked up at much sweat yet. So, you know, they're not slippery. Is that body lock, John, put the pressure on his stomach and maybe squeezing some air out of him? That's exactly what it does. It not only holds the fight of their Marcus, but it also doesn't really give him a chance to breathe. But you can see he's kind of inching his way out of it right now and, and look for uh, Coke to try to make some adjustments here, either to bail out of the position or to... Uh, Back on their feet, back on their feet. A good punch, a good exchange of kicks right there. Not often you'll see the Troy Klein stop a fight in that position when both fighters were working. But he did just that. Yeah, he shuts on his back again. He's, he's pushing the pace, you know, when, when, uh, regardless of the position, I guess, Scott. But nonetheless, uh, Cope back on uh, back on the top of Will Shutt looking to pass guard and get uh, side position. Well, both fighters expending a lot of energy here in the last man standing right there. Cope looking to drop one down. Some elbows from Shutt from the bottom. Nice. And now the fight is for Shutt to keep him in guard, which he, looks like he's working to keep him in guard, but some punches coming down from Cope. And again, we should mention that Eric Cope is wearing the black and red trunks. Will Shutt, of course, in black and white shorts. Coke has a, a, a big win over a pride vet, Joe Pearson. Also a win over our former champion, TJ the Spider O'Brien. So he's, in the last uh, couple years that he's been competing, he's really been on a roll. The kid's only 20 years old. Wow. He's got a ton of potential. Like I said, I've been hearing hype about him for well over a year, so it's good that, that we can get him in MCC before he moves on to the big show. I know his ultimate goal is going to the WEC. We'll see how he does in this tournament. Our last and winner, he went. Will shut his mouth right here. Eating some punches to the face from uh, Coke from on the top. Well, at this point, you know, in the evening and in this particular fight, I see Colt, uh, you know, being the dominant fighter, but at this point, he really hasn't inflicted a whole lot of damage physically, except in position. John, is this going to wear on Will Shutt? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, Colt's a, Colt's a strong guy. He's already got uh, got blood coming from the nose of, of Will Shutt. He's had him in a couple bad positions. Uh, you know, he's got his back again, and that's definitely, even though he's, uh, you know, he's not absolutely dominating the fight, he's still playing a lot into the judges' scorecards, and so, you know, he's definitely winning the first round. Right there, he's wrapping him up, pushing him up Back against the fence again. Now, there are fighters that would prefer to fight with their back to the fence, John, and you know that. And in this case, Will has got his back up against the fence. And Will Shutt's doing pretty hot at this point as well. Mouth open. Is that attempted a leg lock right there? Yeah, he's going for a heel hook right there, but you know they're to the point now where they're you know they've been in the fight almost five full minutes. They're a little slippery, and uh, top by Cole. Eric was able to get out of that and, and right back into the top position where he's been dominant the most of the fight. Looks like he's going after that heel hook again. Yeah, that, that, off, see, that, that's, yeah, exactly. You know, Coke knew that that was coming. He timed it perfectly and spun right into a good position. Nice 
Wow, nice kick. Well, at least it sounded like it hurt. That's the end of the round. And, John, this is round number two of this tournament. And right now, I believe Will Shutt is the recipient of most of the damage. Eric has done a great job on offense. Will has been defending, not quite as well as he'd like to, perhaps. But let's take a look at some of the action. Yeah, you can see Eric Koch on top, raining down blows, gets Shutt's back, goes to sink in the rear naked. Gives him a couple more uh, blows just for good measure. To Will Shutt's credit, did a great job of defending a lot of potentially fight-ending submissions. As a fighter going into the break from a round, knowing or, or thinking maybe that you, you have not won that round, what are you thinking at this point? Uh, you know, you're just thinking, stay calm. It's only the first round. you still got two more rounds to go. If it goes that long, be patient. And, you know, if I was Will's corner, I would definitely give him the advice, stay away from the heel hook, stay away from the leg locks. He knows they're coming. You guys are slippery and they're timing him. A little Bobby Henry there in the corner of Will Shutt. Shutt gathering up some uh, great big gulps of air. I don't know if you can see that. Yes, he looks very tired, Scott. And he looks like he's in great shape, though, so it's just a matter of catching that second wind out of there. Well, John, much like you, you can gain a second wind, a third wind throughout a fight, right? Oh, absolutely. You know, I'm all, I always get a little tired after the first round and then kind of pick up steam after that. So, you know, I know exactly where these guys are coming from, but kicks like that to the midsection, uh, you know, chokes, uh, body locks, okay. that, that's not going to do anything to help you get your air back for sure. Good exchange by both men right there. Coke really doing a good job of extending that leg and then fainting with it as well, drawing the uh, well shut in. Watch him up against the uh, cage now again as Coke begins to do what he did before. And that's bring that attack on Will Shutt. Yeah, great pace by these guys. I mean, they're, they're just going at it, you know, like this is the only fight of the night. So, you know, whoever moves on to the, to the second fight, to the championship round, you know, they're, they're definitely going to want to go back, get some nice water, get some, uh, right get some juice in them, and relax because they're expending a lot of energy. And this is taking a big toll out of both fighters, win or lose. The fighter that, that leaves his cage to go to the, the next round is going to be a little tired. Do they have an advantage fighting the first fight in the tournament? Is, is that any advantage at all? Sure, you know, they got just a little more time to... Uh, to to rest up after the, uh, the thing and you know then they get to kind of watch back and, and see who's going on to the to championship round to fight them so they can kind of kick back in the back and watch this next fight coming up so they have a, I'd say they have a little advantage. Coke has got uh, his arm caught in there look at Shutt now he's trying to put some pressure on him but leaving himself exposed is Will Shutt. Yeah Will went for a Kimura and uh, you know Coke did a great job of defending that he's got it locked up right now plus uh, Will's pressed against the fence so his arm's really Right at this point in no danger. Uh, but he's got one free arm to to rain down those punches like he's been doing. And, and Will was just, you know, he had both arms locked up and he was going for the Kimura, so he was pretty defenseless in that position. He seems to be hanging on to it very well. Until well, so he was mounted right there by Coke. Eric Koch is like a python. He can squirm out of anything and he's proven it time and time again here tonight. Yeah, Will, Will did a good job of slipping out of that. Nice reversal. Now we'll see what uh, Coke's got from his back. Will shut in side position, looking to turn the tide and do a little damage of his own. What a fight. MCC 20 is living up to the billing right here tonight. Here's Who will be favorite is. the last man standing? Looks like Will Shutt has an arm. Looks like he had an arm bar there, potentially. Nice reversal. They're going back and forth. Man, what a, what a fight, man. These guys are absolute warriors. Just going there and showing what it's all about. Two of the toughest 145 pounders out of the Midwest. And, man, I'm just excited to be here. You know what's interesting, John, is you watch Eric Cook. He figures out the position he's in, and then he goes the reverse to get out of it, to get out of that position that may be threatening his arm or his leg. And in this case, watch him now. He's on top again. Yeah, raining down oh, elbows and punches. And those are definitely going to take their, their toll, you know, in the fight. And, you know, another thing, you, even if even if Will was to win this with taking that, that much abuse, he's going to go back there and start to swell up from the blows. So, you know, that's another thing that these fighters got to be cautious too. You not only want to win, you don't want to take damage. And as you see there, he's cut pretty bad. Right. It's called tenderizing, Marcus. That's what we're talking about. That's some tender, tender forehead of Will Shep. It yeah. sure is. Wow. As you can see, uh, you know, Cokes, he's got that rear naked. He's got the anaconda around the body. Man, he's, looks like he got a neck crank, but he was, he was cut pretty bad.